Stop defending trifling toxic oh, abusive hyena deadbeat am I mothers. Missing something? Um, nope. Did y'all see what happened in that house? Here's my Take the next left onto West Franklin Street, then your destination will be on the left. Oh, here. Do respect. I don't give a flying French toast. You don't get to put out your child like in that fashion. There's nothing that child could have done to do that. If it was that bad, um, then you know you get in touch with the other parent. But see, I want to discuss more of that. Give me one second. But, you know, these modern, modern women, y'all are tripping. And, and, and I'm not going to put, 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 but some of you women have kids and y'all didn't do that. So I don't understand why would you defend that. Or women like you and others who didn't do that would defend such horrific motherhood. Being a deadbeat mom, why would you defend that? Your destination is on the left. Okay. He could have put hands on her. Why would why would why would you assume he would the child would put hands? I can understand this though. Just like people got a breaking point. If you're so verbally abuse, how about we ask this? Was she verbally abusive? Where he could have snapped? You ain't sugar, honey, iced tea. All types of ver 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 verbal abuse, physical abuse that was unwarranted, but she just, you know, just want us on a power trip because we do got people who get who like to tear down their own children to make themselves feel better because there's a God complex that nobody wants to discuss. Okay. Or did something or put or or a sibling or cursed out. Still no excuse. Still no excuse. Maybe it's, there's times where the child said, I just don't want to be here and see my father and, and stuff like that happen, but he don't get to see his father. Maybe the mom is so damn toxic, so disrespectful, and maybe parent, maybe the parent needs to lead by example and do and, and, as in and what they do, not what they tell them. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse for that. And I don't know the full clip, but I can say there is a there is there are a lot of toxic abusive mothers and there's not there's no excuse for that. And if, if you if, if because to me, just because somebody gets on your nerves. So let me ask you something. If that if a father did that to his daughter, would you be okay with that? Ladies, I wanna know. Because you would drag him through the fucking mud. So stop it. Take the next left onto Millette Street. That this is why I support the passport bros. You see this? You keep saying I don't know. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto South Columbia Street. Let me, let me turn. Let me turn it down. I, I'm the oldest of all. Um, I'm the oldest of the the of my brothers and my cousins. So stop it. And trust me, you have to be that daddy and uncle at the same time, from time to time. That that's how my experience was. My thing is, there's no. She was not bleeding. There was no injuries. She, I'm pretty sure, but what I saw was bruises on that young fella, that young boy. And how can you say dead be dead? And due respect, uh, when she's using the system of white supremacy to alienate the father, and she probably don't know who the father is because she's a hoe. Are you a hoe? Based on, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> and you didn't do none of that with your kids, so you need to stop. You know, no, go have some damn seats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody got she. The son got punched in the face. Is that okay? And no kid is gonna punch the parent in the face. I, I, I keep saying it. That's <laughs> violence is learned from the parent. I, I don't understand that. It's learned from people around them. Okay. And if you and if you if if you're if you're leading, allowing your child to be emotionally effed up to be reactionary, that stems on the parent. And my thing is, she probably know who the daddy is, so she's still a deadbeat. And I and, and to me, 
There's no injuries, just like when it comes to the brick chick. Some of y'all need to be hit with bricks. Some of y'all need to hit with bricks and some iron and some bullets, you know, like police officers like to do. So if a cop would have did some of those things, are you going to defend the cop? Knowing how crooked they are? You got to think about that. See, you're going off emotion. See, we go with, I go with facts. This is why you need to get your passwords, gentlemen, because you can't tell a lot of these modern females anything. Oh, shit. That's why you need to get, you gotta get that passport, man. You gotta get that passport. Do you see the combativeness? I wouldn't be surprised if some dude got, got so pissed and you know, she probably projecting because that's probably what her man did or her ex did because she don't know and be quiet. That's why. But anyway, I gotta get back to work. You take care.